Doctor Who, The Parting of the Ways, the 13th episode of Series 1, is written by Russell T. Davis and starring Christopher Eccleston, Billy Piper and John Barrowman. So Russell T. Davis wanted to have Captain Jack left behind because they wanted to explore the regeneration and Rose, and they think that Captain Jack would take up all the space. Christopher Eccleston's plan to leave the show was leaked early in BBC on 30th of March 2005 because we thought he was uh, scared of being typecasted and for me, I thought he hated Doctor Who but until recently we found out why Chris left it was because of his relationship between himself and Russell T Davis and the other crew went down and turns out Christopher Eccleston actually loved playing the Doctor Plus, Chris uh, described chronic uh, eating disorders and depression and said that he had considered suicide speaking about his poor mental health. He wrote that down as he was a lifelong body hater. I feel sorry for him. I'm happy he's coming back for audio series. It's nice to see him being the Doctor again, as I do miss him as the Doctor which I hope he comes back for 60th anniversary. So the episode begun with uh, TARDIS flying towards the Dalek spaceship and I love that scene, especially the way Murray Gold did the music. It fits in perfectly. The Doctor gets a time war comeback when he looks at the Dalek insides after Jack blasted a Dalek that TARDIS materialized around it, along with Rose. The design of Emperor Dalek is outstanding. I love the Emperor Dalek. I wish they had him back. That was the scene where we find out that the Daleks became half human but they don't want to admit it as they hate their own existence. This two part of story is where I first know the Daleks when my mum mentioned it's got robots in it. When I was only six or seven I was like, oh, I can't wait to see it then. When I saw the Daleks I was like, wow, they are scary. These are the creatures you want to keep away from. I wasn't expecting to see something like this. When it takes the Doctor three days to build a Delta Wave, the Daleks will take over 20 minutes to arrive, so we have no idea what he's going to do about that. The Doctor understandably got Rose into the TARDIS and sent her back home because he cares for her and he wants her to be safe and have a good life. But Rose was having none of it. This is why I loved Rose. She cares for the Doctor so much and she does anything to be with the Doctor and help him. When we find out that Emperor Dalek has got nothing to do with Bad Wolf and we were like, are we going to find out? I mean, what is Bad Wolf? Is it a wolf that's being naughty or something? <laughs> Meanwhile, Rose sits in a cafe not eating chips. While Jackie and Mickey were discussing this new uh, pizza shop, just before when Rose makes a scene by kicking off, makes me wanting pizza now, we find out that the writing of Bad Wolf is a message when Rose says there's nothing left of her. That's because, well, how can you have a normal life after seeing what's out there in time and space? And she's like, nope. I'm helping the Doctor, I'm not staying here letting him die. I love the action scenes, the scenes where people shooting at the Daleks but then get exterminated, especially with Murray Gold's music. I love that. For me, it's the most scariest Dalek story in New Who, in my opinion. I had hell of a goosebumps watching this as a kid. When Rose mentioned to Jackie that day Pete Tyler died, and they see a blonde girl held his hand, and that was actually Rose from the future, so Jackie had time to think things over, and because Mickey's car isn't strong enough to uh, open the heart of the TARDIS to send Rose back. We see Jackie driving a big yellow truck. When I saw this, I was like, nice. In the scene where Linda dies, was really sad. We're like, no. The doctor promised her he'd get her out of there alive. But yeah, it's really devastating. While Jack is the last man standing, I love the scene where Mickey uses the yellow truck to open the heart of the TARDIS and all the vortex goes into Rose's eyes and while the TARDIS is in flight and Jack faces three Daleks and the death by extermination with Murray Gold's epic music, it's well done. It's like a horror sci-fi action movie. When the Doctor is about to wipe out the entire Dalek race, he stopped and was like, coward, any day. Before the Daleks finally get to exterminate the Doctor, Rose came back and turns out she's the bad wolf. If Tangle did that, they'd become a god. When Rose wiped out the Daleks and Emperor Dalek, it turned them into dust. It was like Thanos when he uh, snapped his fingers at the end of uh, Avengers Infinity War. What caused the Doctor to regenerate was to absorb the time vortex from Rose and killed every cell of his body. 
It was the last time you see Captain Jack for series one. In the scene where Captain Jack is back to life and got up and have a look at the dust and then he hears the TARDIS dematerialised and, and he was too late. So that was the last time you see him until he returns to the spin-off series Torchwood as he's such a popular character. The Doctor's speech is nice, it's really sad to see Chris go. It's like a sad scene but at the same time it's like, it's time's up, time to say goodbye. Before when I found out the Doctor can regenerate, I did forget at that point he wasn't human. My mum said that he's going to change his head, I was like, wait what? And yeah, that's when Christopher Eccleston regenerated to David Tennant. The Tenth Doctor has got fantastic first words and then credits roll just after when he smiled at Rose. Apparently, uh, Billy Piper wasn't there when David's scene was uh, shot. He was talking to sticky tape indicating Billy's eye line and then edit it into the broadcast version. So yeah, I love this episode because of the action, the casts, the music and the Daleks are terrifying. It gives me the goosebumps like in Bad Wolf. So what are your thoughts of this episode? Drop it down in the comments below and I'm happy to talk about the Christmas invasion. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.